Hey guys, we're here at the training ground. Just finished an eight-week challenge. Time to get loose. Let your hair down. What I'm looking forward to is mainly eating, drinking, and having a boogie. Let's have a good night. This is the microphone for the video audio, so we're not weirdos. Thank you guys for coming. This is the first time we've opened this up to a mid-year party for just everyone, and I fucking love it. It's way better. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's, it's always been just like the end of challenge party, so th this is good, this is good. I hope you guys appreciate it. I love the vibe. Um, I hope everyone's ready to kick on and party after this as well, because that's what we're doing. Um, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna go really quick because uh, both me and Katie are shooting ourselves and <laughs> we'll move on from here and then we can just kick on with the night, all right? So we, along with the, pe so there are people here that were on the last eight week challenge, which was our, it went in line with our wave two eight week challenge, which we run throughout the entire year. So we're gonna be giving awards out for that. For those that were like, I didn't know anything about that. I'm just here for the drinks. We're also giving awards out to members as well for, just recognizing awesome members that probably weren't even involved in the challenge as well, okay? So you're gonna get a little bit of both. Uh, but we're gonna do that eight week challenge first because you guys have waited almost a month. And we're gonna kick off getting straight into it with the winners. I already gave away, one of them isn't here. Uh, but from each team as well. So the same as last year, we did team black, team green, team blue, team white. That's the main. <laughs> That is the main theme of the annual challenge that we run every, not, every year, which is the main reason for this. Um, and we will announce the winning team at the end. So you guys have to listen to it all dragged out until then, okay? Uh, but there will be individual winners out of every team. And you guys get medals as well, so well done. And we'll kick on from there. So kicking off with Team Blacks, because I've already got the microphone, slash dumbbell. Um, this person, I am super impressed with. Um, knew a little bit about, but didn't really know too much about before the challenge started. But straight out the back, they just did absolutely everything. I actually even had to tell them to calm the hell down a little bit. Um, but they could do no wrong. Um, there was even a lot of setbacks as well that they overcame and grew heaps as a person, which is what this challenge is about, and learnt how to properly look after yourself in a challenge and do what's right for your body composition. And m the winner for Team Black goes to Mariana Neo. If it wasn't for the team that we have here at the training ground, I honestly yeah, you, they, you guys got results because of the team as a whole and I thank you guys for all your help um, in, in dark times. So, um, this person that I have as uh, the winner of the challenge, or Team Green, um, it goes to, a, goes to a guy who didn't really listen to everything <laughs> <laughs> that Josh said. <laughs> but um, he did train almost twice or three times a week and even stuff at home and um, and twice personally with me uh, and got awesome results and even shaved his age down by like 10 years. So, um, which is a huge, huge, huge achievement. Um, he's not here now, so when you see him and he is coming, just uh, him. So, <laughs> um, but that goes to Sam Maxson. <laughs> this year's challenge, I had a really big intention on taking it out. Made me kind of lose focus of what the challenge is all about, which is about learning how to eat healthy, how to train with good habits and sustain these habits well after the challenge is over. And when that shift in my focus changed, that's when the results really started to come. So thank you to my team for seeing me out for this first part and getting the best out of me for the last part. Uh, my guy that won, he uh, yeah, made some incredible changes. Um, just to quickly summarize his changes, uh, the biggest thing that was the uh, most improved was his strength. He started off the program uh, squatting about maybe 142 and a half or one, finished off, finished off the program squatting 100, the same amount of weight for three. Uh, 
not only that, his bench press went up, his deadlift went up. Not just that, improved his metabolic age. He was able to do all of these incredible things in such a short amount of time. And for someone that was you know, a little bit hesitant to start, seeing him stick it out the entire time was massive. My winner is Ash Knowles. <laughs> this one is yours. Cheers, mate. Hey, you go, Romney. What's that, sorry? Oh, my bad. Yeah. 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 You got the squat? Yeah, I'll squat. <laughs> The winner of Team White, um, she came on as a PT client about four weeks before the challenge started. So we kind of learned everything in that first four weeks. And then by the time the challenge started, she was just flying. So yeah, um, the results speak for themselves. So our Team White winner is Jess. <laughs> The next one that we will do, in my eyes, the most important thing, and I want, I don't know if all, all the coaches would agree as well, but I forever keep this as the most important thing in regards to your health, fitness, and everything moving forward, but most amount of muscle gains during the eight-week challenge. Like, there's, just gaining muscle is just so crucial for your health. Um, my person was meant to be here and was honestly, I thought, going to be the life of the party. Uh, that went to Rebel Bliss, who I'm sure will be here soon, and everyone will get to experience that life. But yeah, a round of applause for the ghost. This goes to a person who I was really, yeah, really surprised. I, I um, actually, it's um, it was a, a female <laughs> that gained the most muscle throughout the challenge, which was awesome, and I, I was just so surprised, um, and I could see like just the fitness coming in and out of the gym. Um, yeah, it was, it was really awesome. But uh, yeah, outshined everyone on, on Team Green. So this person goes to Abby Lillo. She is so surprised. She doesn't even know she gained that much muscle. But, uh, <laughs> Hello. Yeah, you gained, you gained the most muscle throughout the whole challenge. Same guy that won the team's best, Ash Knowles. The most muscle in our team. Um, uh, yeah, it was pretty impressive because she also lost the most amount of fat and gained the most amount of muscle, which is quite hard to do. So yeah, come and get another medal, Jess. Sam, who won the challenge, we said he got 10 years younger. He doesn't have Benjamin Button's disease. He <laughs> it, was, it was on the scale. So metabolic age is an indicator based on Medically, they've obviously been getting results for a long time. Your age group has an average metabolism score, which is your BMR, which is how much calories you burn on a daily basis. If your age in years is younger than what you actually are, then your metabolism is faster than the average of your age group. If your age is older than you are, you need to do something about that. Uh, <laughs> and jump on one of these challenges. So basically, these are the people whose age dropped the most in the ch in, within the eight weeks, uh, which is absolutely unreal. That's basically all the metrics were moving in the healthier direction and they dropped the most amount in their age over the eight-week period, okay? Um, my winner, you can come back out here, Mariana. Go <laughs> oh, sit down, hey, go sit down. Yeah. <laughs> Josh is doing another review. <laughs> um, uh, my winner for Metabolic Age, obviously, um, yeah, he, he absolutely smashed it. He goes to Sam again, so, uh. <laughs> He's not here again, uh. But, um, but um, yeah, 10 years off your, uh, your Metabolic Age is awesome, so, 
I'll uh, give these to him later. I'm a little bit of a running joke, Ash. <laughs> Obviously, we're overachievers by this point. We've got two winners. So these girls managed to shave six years off their age, Fiona and Des. Yeah. The Eight Week Challenge Awards. Shut up. <laughs> so um, this one is the Coach's Award. This can go out for a number of reasons, um, but basically it's the coach's choice just on why. Um, my one, they are not here. They got called on to work tonight. Um, but in all honesty, the, the first week, this was a referral that I had from someone on the last challenge. And the first week when I saw what they ate, I went, oh no, this is going to be a hard eight weeks. Um, crap. Uh, and it was just micro pizzas. And what they said to me was, I do not cook. I will not change. And I just, yeah, try and fix me. And I went, okay. <laughs> <laughs> by the end of it, they were meal prepping. Um, their age dropped by similar amount of years to Sam. Um, very unfortunate and my mistake, the, they actually came in a week before the challenge started and got a scan. This person is female and for the females here, you guys would know that if you measure nine weeks apart, it's very different to if you measure eight weeks apart. So uh, she came in week nine and I was like, what's going on? Your week four results were so much better. Like this, this doesn't make any sense. And then she came in again on the week 10 and absolutely blew out of the park. I was like, I'm sorry, that doesn't count. But at least you know you did well. Um, so she's over the mood at her results, so it's unfortunate she can't be here tonight with work. Uh, that goes to Savannah Smith. Coach's Award for Team Green um, could have gone to a number of people. Seniors all working in the, in the gym, even with the guidance of, of the, the rest of the team. Um, I kind of went off that. Um, this person pretty much followed things to a T, uh, following the guidance um, of, of the coaches and uh, that person goes to Abby again. <laughs> oh, yeah. Come on, you're gonna have a heavy neck by the Yeah, my person, they couldn't make it today. Ash, you can sit. Uh, <laughs> she's uh, unable to make, she's with her family, lame in Canada. <laughs> Even more lame, no. Uh, she, when she started, had a lot of issues when it came to seeing what she was eating. So she just did not like tracking food purely because it was like, I just don't want to know. When we started doing programming, personal training, every month I will give her a loom review just because she just did not want to frequently do it. And at the end of it, you know, she was logging everything in before time and she was smashing all of her goals and her nutrition uh, if you look at the results on the scans, you'll think, oh no, what a bad result. But all in all, I think that relationship with food was the best thing that she got out of it. So my Coaches Award goes to Dolly Dallaval. Team White Coaches Awards. I honestly wish that I could give it to everyone in the team because it was literally a dream team. Like you all did everything I said, which made my life so much easier. <laughs> But I picked this person because she was a little bit disheartened with their results. Everything improved, she just lost a little bit of muscle. But overall, out of the five things we looked at, it was a big improvement. Um, and she is literally a wonder woman. So it is Anna. Yeah. It's Sam was the outright winner of the challenge out of everybody. Um, you guys aren't gonna find out the team that wins yet. We're gonna do the member awards first, just to really build some tension. <laughs> uh, so I was like, oh, do we get more medals? I was like, no, everyone's necks will be heavy. Um, so I made you guys some little gifts instead. So the members, we've 
really gone out and put some awards together to go with this. Now, I'm going to turn into a little advert right now. Um, my favourite place on Asta Terrace, I'm going to hold this actually, uh, Davina's, yeah, for those that know. So this gift has actually been donated from Davina. She's absolutely amazing. Um, so enjoy it, cherish it, let them know that I said nice things because they're awesome people uh, and they do Great chips. Really, really great, great chips, chips. <laughs> which Ash no longer eats. <laughs> uh, I'll give you that. So what we're going to do, this is the Members Award first. So everyone, hopefully, you guys might be like, oh, I didn't see it. But everyone will fill out a little piece of paper through the week. And basically, I was like, I don't know who's going to win this. We're just going to see who the members choose. Uh, what was amazing to see was there was 27 different names written on the whole thing. It was like, everyone loves everyone. This is good. Uh, so it was awesome to see. It was also awesome to see that seven people tied for second place. And it was literally one vote that, I don't know if there's any cheating, but the handwriting was different, so I believe it. And honestly, I, I could have picked it from the start as well. Um, this guy is an absolute larrikin. I half gave it away. Uh, David Yay. won the yeah. Members Award. All of us talk amongst ourselves and uh, we're talking about who do we think is the person who's improved in their list the most and they've made incredible progress up to this point. Uh, we're going to get Anna to get up here. This award goes to Kesha. Up here, Anna. Up here, Anna. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Coach's Award and once again, Coach voted. Uh, we all talk about who do we think is the most uh, beloved member we have. This kid literally other will, David. other than David, other than David, uh, this kid would literally fist bump everyone he sees. Oh. Artemy, this yeah. award is yeah. for Artemy. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Two more before the big excitement comes. We've made an award that didn't exist a year ago based on the eight-week challenge and the party we did here last year. We went, we got a pretty good eight-week challenge. So we formulated an online version and we've been running that for the entire year. Now, up until the challenge that is currently happening, happening this was, <laughs> this was a three-way tie. Uh, and this is the eight-week challenge champ. And this is someone who has done eight-week challenge after eight-week challenge for 12 months straight uh, and just kept going. And literally it was a three-way tie and the coaches were like, it's, it's gonna be a tie. And I was like, no, it's not. No, it's not. There's gonna be one winner. Yeah. And it waited and then literally on the last day, I ran out on the gym and I was like, are you doing the challenge again? And they went, fuck yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> and they won themselves an award and that goes to Anna. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well done. Get a photo. Get a photo. This one actually had a statistic that couldn't be argued with, and this was for the most class visits Whoa. in the last 12 months. Uh, I'm taking guesses. Go. Wait, David? Yeah, Sarah. Yeah, Sarah. Yeah, Sarah. That was my guess. Yeah. That was my guess. I went, yeah, Sarah's got it. She did not get it. Someone outdid Sarah, which for those that know Sarah is That's a hard thing to do. an amazing feat. Julie was up there as well. Julie could not make it tonight. She's in America. Abby. Abby. Oh, she did put on a lot of muscle, but no. <laughs> <laughs> David. <laughs> the most class visits in the last 12 months. The well done. The most chat before class. Yeah. <laughs> So last year, um, for those that were here, Team White took it out. Yep. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Fee wore a pink shirt. Yeah. So this is the second year of us doing that. Um, and it was very close. It was literally like a 0 0.01 of like a percentage on an average as to like how the difference was made. Um, this year was 
pretty unanimous. Uh, and I was, I was like watching the stats come in at like the week four mark and I was like, oh yeah, here we go. This is, this is how it's going. And then again at the week eight and was like, yep, all right, that, that's what I thought. <laughs> They've gone back to back and it's team white. Yeah, <laughs> they've done it again. <laughs> hey, Team White. Anyway, um, I'm a bit less excited than last year because I was pretty confident. We've got an OG here, two newbies, they outshined us a little bit. But honestly, it's been so good and like, we wouldn't be here without Katie, if I'm being honest. Like, her, like her, how do I say this? Um, her passion and her commitment to us. And it wasn't like, don't eat, lift harder. Like, it was, it was just like, um, it's all about, I don't know, like a likability and wanting to do good. And like obviously the gym itself is incredible. Um, you'll see my little video later about the best gym in the world. Um, <laughs> but honestly, like between the gym and Josh and Pete and Tamas and Katie, like the whole vibe is always good. Um, me personally, I'm a moany bitch at 6 a.m. and yep. I'm probably got the, the least member award for votes, which is fine. But like Katie is like, <laughs> Um, we, we wouldn't, I, I personally think, I'm literally, this is impromptu, I've only had two drinks, P.S. Um, this, we wouldn't be here, like, I personally think without Katie, with this challenge, with the tips on nutrition, what to eat, what to balance, balance is my new favourite word, um, the whinging and the bitching of, like, like, lifting and, like, texting her at 8pm saying, like, have a line or not? yeah, <laughs> no, like, the like, no. honestly, like, like it's, we all worked very hard and we, we make our own choices and we are our own people, but between the team and the gym and the trainers, like, fucking top shit, mate. <laughs> 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 Hi, my name is Mariana. I am one of the people that did the challenge. I'm celebrating myself tonight because when I did the challenge throughout the eight weeks, I actually injured my back and I pushed myself and I finished my challenge and I feel a lot stronger mentally and physically. And thank you to the best coach, Josh. He inspired me and helped me throughout my journey and just proud of myself. I'm proud of the team that helped me through everything. And yeah. So I actually started um, at the training ground um, after a shoulder injury. So I was, I was getting into the lateral raises. This is about as much as I can lift with that shoulder. So Thomas really helped me out get a, a baseline kind of performance again. So we built that up over the last 15 to 18 months or so, beating a lot of the PBs that I've done maybe like five, 10 years ago. So really proving to myself that I can actually still do that and, and can do more than what I was doing. How you going guys? I'm Sam Maxson and the, the winner of the eight week challenge for the training ground. Um, look, I've known Pete and Josh from the training ground for a very long time now. They're very good friends of mine. So I get along with them very well. And it's very, for me, it's a, it's a friendship group and a brotherhood when I walk into the gym. That's the feeling that I get. It's really good training because it's, it's all about laughter. We, we just laugh when we train. We, we train hard, we work hard, but as you can see, we, we sort of party hard too. The difference for me is the people. Uh, it's a better vibe than Snap or anything else that I've been involved in. For me, my goal is to grow a lot of muscle. And look, I'm gonna be honest, because I'm on camera and I've had a few drinks, my, my goal is to look like Thor from Thor, from, from Thor 1, that's my goal. Increase muscle mass and just look my best version of myself, that's it. The training ground is amazing. We train as a, like, as a whole group. Honestly, the best small gym ever, although like they're big dogs. The trainers, the equipment, the space, like everything, I bloody love it. Super proud of how everyone did on this last eight week challenge. So it's not your general eight week challenge. This is honestly the last challenge you will need because we teach you how to be able to get any body composition that you want literally for the rest of your life. So I highly recommend if you're thinking of jumping on a challenge soon, jump on board the Training Grounds Online Challenge and it'll be the last challenge that you ever need. Hey guys, it's Zach here, one of the executives and directors of TTG. 
I uh, came on board a little over 12 months ago and have seen astronomical results, not only within the gym itself, but a lot of the clients and customers. We have a great membership base here. It's been absolutely amazing to be a part of this journey, and I can't wait for the next couple of years to see what we can, uh, see what we can uh, achieve. This has been the Training Grounds Mid-Year Party. Thanks for watching. Join the training gym. Woo!